My Lab XL, my math test, study plan, modifying mastery and coverage, new UI. Are you using the study plan in your course? You want to make sure to modify mastery and coverage settings. Click on the study plan manager on your course menu and click edit to modify features. You also need to set mastery here if you are using personalized homework. Mastery is typically set at 80% for quizzes and tests. If you do allow homework to update mastery, consider using 90% or higher since students use learning aids. Mastery is calculated by objective, not overall assignment grade. There are several key things to note if you're on the coverage and scoring page. You can choose which objectives are scored and recommended, where questions are available, etc. You can see what material is covered in assignments you've created. You can uncheck selections from the objective scored and recommended column to hide objectives from the study plan and omit them from the student study plan score. Each objective is worth one mastery point. You can uncheck selections from the questions available for practice column to remove questions from the study plan. If all of the questions in a particular objective are removed, students will be unable to practice that objective. This table on a select coverage page lists all the chapters covered in your course. To select the questions that students will see in their course, use the plus sign to expand chapter contents and the minus sign to condense the contents again. When you expand a chapter, you can view its sections. When you click on a section or objective, the study plan question details page will appear and let you view and select the questions in that part of your text. If you click on an individual question, the question will open in preview mode in your player window. This is the study plan question detail page, which lets you view the questions contained in a section or objective in your textbook and select what questions will appear in your student's study plans. The drop down list at the top of the page lets you select the chapter, section, or objective to review. After you make a selection, the list of questions will be updated. Above the list of questions, you can use the Choose Coverage drop down list to quickly refine the list of available questions. You can use All, select all questions in the section or objective. You can click Only Questions Used in Assignments to select only the questions that are already in homework, quizzes, and tests. Every nth question, when you choose this option, the n equals box appears where you can enter the selection interval. For example, if you enter three, every third question will be selected. Only questions not used in assignments. Select only the questions excluded from assignments. After you've made your selection, click Apply to update the list. You can also choose to make only screen reader compliant questions available to students. Tip. If you exclude questions from a chapter, section, or objective level, student study plans will still contain an entry for that part of the textbook with mastery icons. However, the number of available questions will be zero. Icons in the list tell you whether the question was used in a homework assignment, test, or quiz. This applies whether or not you have those assignments assigned. The questions for practice columns of the table tell you the total number of available questions, the number of questions you've chosen to include, and whether questions from the chapter, section, or objective are included in assignments. You will see those icons to tell you what assignments include which questions. Expand the chapter contents list to the question level to see which questions are included. The scored sections and objectives columns tells you how many points are available for the chapter, section, and or objective and how many you've included. Be sure to click Save Coverage and Scoring Settings when done. Thank you for watching our video about the study plan mastery and coverage settings. Learn more about this and other settings on our product training and support site or ask your rep for more information.